Hey everybody, uh, it's Drew out here. We're at Fable Grove Sanctuary in Fable Marsh. Gonna do a little birding this morning. Um, just kind of check out what we can see here. So just right in front of us, might be able to see I don't know if these are turtles bobbing their head up and kind of forging at the surface. Or if they're tadpoles maybe. We're out here at Fable Marsh. So this is right off of Highway 89. Um, unfortunately, you might be able to hear some of the cars driving by. There's a yellow-throated vireo, some blue-gray gnat catchers in the woods. Just over this way. A house run in there. Yeah, it looks like there are little tadpoles that are surfacing and there are lots of them around. You might be able to see it in the water, just a little, like, little disturbances. Some red-winged blackbirds around here. Looks like there's a kingbird right in front of us. You can see it. It's right on that branch there. You can hear it. Just did a little peep. I don't know if this will work. Yeah, it's too hard. But there, it just flew away. Eastern Kingbird. So this is a cool part of the marsh. It's called the moat. It sort of looks like a river, but it's not. It's just surrounding the whole marsh, which is an acidic tamarack swamp, open bog. You can check out some blue flag iris here. Just right in front of us. That's a nice native wetland plant. We've been controlling the reed canary grass along here to promote the native species like the blue flag iris. It's like a red-winged blackbird's carrying nesting material over here.
if you if you would like to come out here and kayak, um, you can contact me. Um, you know, it's it's nesting season, so we don't want to disturb waterfowl and stuff that are nesting in here. And it is a little difficult to access, so um, I can give you instructions on how you might go about doing that. So you can just email me. Um, you can find my information on the Madison Audubon website. This whole mat here is pretty cool. It's just a floating mat of vegetation. You can kind of see how buoyant it is. <clears throat> there are lots of different rush species out there and some emergent vegetation. But we'll get sandhill cranes nesting out here. There's a wood duck box we're passing. So on the left here is a prairie restoration. I think it's about eight years old now. There are some willows on the edge, but the overall the prairie looks really nice. There's lots of spider wart blooming in there right now. Lots of golden alexanders and pale purple coneflower. Here we're coming up on the wetland edge of this prairie and this looks like tussock sedge that we're going to run into so it forms a tussock or a hummock <clears throat> and those sedges are fruiting right now but that's a common feature of these wetland areas are these tussocks these sort of little knees sticking up and as all that litter decomposes, it reinforces the height of them and they keep getting taller and taller. Coming up on a muskrat house here. On the left. Lots of geese using that. So this is interesting. It looks like this is uh, pickerel weed in front of us here. That's a nice native species and we've spread the seed in here just on our left. Right there, that big leaf. We've spread the seed in here but we spread it on that side along the wetland edge there. And I've seen flowering individuals along here, so the seed must be spreading around on its own. A couple of mallards flying overhead.
So they're hearing some swamp sparrows out here. Out on this mat, there are yellow warblers. Um, like I said, sandhill cranes nest out here. Over here you can see the tamaracks out here on Fable Marsh. So those are really pretty, well in all seasons, but especially in fall when they turn their smoky gold. Lots of red-winged blackbirds out here. Here's a black oak savanna. You can get here off of 89 if you park at Buddy's. Um, a couple of wood ducks flying away. If you park at Buddy's, you can follow the trail there up to this black oak savanna here, and there's a nice overlook of Fable Marsh, which is that's where we're at right now. We're in Fable Marsh. You can see there's lots of blue flag iris here now. on our left here, more over here. See a grackle just flew by. There's a warbling vireo in the trees over here. Common yellow throat.
Sounds like there's a cat bird over there. Looks like we've got some mergansers up ahead. So over winter, um, muskrats use this, the water and they build their houses along the edge of Fable Marsh. Um, there are usually dozens of muskrat houses and some of them can get really large. Um, we'll often see otter out here. We'll see their tracks in winter and that's really cool because you can you'll see the their slides as they're walking along. Might be able to see the mergansers up ahead. So up ahead you can see there are a couple scattered trees and then there's sort of there's brown in the distance up there. It's an egg field that Audubon now owns um, and that'll eventually be planted to prairie. But this past winter all along here we cleared out trees and brush. Um, before this past winter you wouldn't have been able to see that egg field there. There were so many trees and stuff through there. But that'll be excellent waterfowl nesting habitat and grass and bird habitat. There are more swamp sparrows out here. See a great blue heron just flew off a wood duck box. There's another one on it. Looks like there are three herons over there. There are lots of chorus frogs and spring peepers out here and Early spring, you can hear sandhill cranes as they're migrating through in spring. That great blue heron just took off. of kingbirds in front of us.
So Galen was asking why the egg field looks bare. You can see it's not very green there. Um, we talked to the farmer and he said that the geese have been grazing there and they've grazed a big portion of that field, unfortunately. Going through lots of water lilies now. So up ahead here is a cool feature of the marsh. Kind of interesting. Get out of these water lilies, kind of loud. <clears throat> there are a bunch of herons over there. But on the right side is floating marsh, and on the left side is floating marsh. And this piece on the left side that's straight ahead now, that actually broke off and settled into this spot. So you can look at a at Google Earth and you can see how it it does fit into that main piece of the marsh there. But it broke off and since it's a floating mat, it just kind of settled in a little further to the north. But it's a really neat little island of floating bog mat. We actually came out here this spring and uh, burn this Sort of interesting this interested to see what the response of the vegetation will be <clears throat> So I think that's about a wrap for me um, you can obviously come out and visit at Pavel Grove, come birding, just hiking on a trail at Buddy's or anywhere off trail. Um, beautiful morning this morning, and if you get a nice morning like this, it's great to come out and spend some time outdoors. Thanks.